All right, everybody. So we've been smelling the smell in the garage for a bit. And I was wondering, I was looking all over the place, like, hey, maybe something ate from my, my uh, poison rat trap over there and died in here. So I was looking around all the corners. And then I remembered on the highway, I came very close to hitting a bird. Well, I thought I came close. Apparently, I got too close because if you can see, let's see. Look at, see that thing? That would be a birdie. Let's get him out of here. Ooh. Oh, he got fucking grouse. Ugh. Grouse. Awesome. Well, now I gotta kill out, clean out some guts. Disgusting. Take this to the trash can. Hey guys, welcome back to Brussels Rides. I'm Matt. So yeah, that thing was really disgusting. Uh, the, the garage in here is so hot right now that it was just cooking. That smell was just rank. So I'm glad I figured out what the heck it was. Got it out of here. So today, we got a pretty cool video for you guys. I got a bunch of packages in the mail and we're gonna open all of them. One of the packages is from Diablito Speeds. Check out his channel. Uh, he's, I won a, well, I'll, let's open it. Excuse me guys, because my garage is a mess. Uh, I've been working on the MGB. Uh, but this video is boss centric. So we're gonna talk about the boss and some parts I got. So we'll get some of these tools out of the way. MGB's not back up and running, but I can't wait to show you what we got here for the boss. This first thing, however, is for my daily driver. <laughs> now, I never thought I'd be this guy to ever use these. Honestly, I entered Diablito's contest and I was thinking, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna do if I win. Um, so here's what I won. Tire letters <laughs> that say Ford Edge for my daily driver. So I figured what the heck, why not? I want them, so let's put them on the Ford Edge. Uh, boss needs new tires and honestly, I didn't really want to put them on the Boss. I would do the MGB, but uh, the tires in here are old, they're gonna get replaced, and I haven't replaced them yet. So the best option with newest tires was my Edge, and I figured why not, stick them on. If I don't like them, I'll just paint them black. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get those on the car. Uh, but the next thing is uh, pretty awesome. Let's go. All right, so right here we have my stage, uh, Ben Calmer Stage 3 MT82 waiting to go in the car. As you guys know, I was waiting for a few things to do the install. I'm still waiting to order one more thing. Uh, I don't have the funds for it yet, but I will very shortly. But here's what came for the car today. Let's open this guy up. Oh yeah. You guys can guess what that is. Oh, it's heavy. All right. Whoop. Cloud Racing. Here is my brand new, this is a refurbished one, but it's my brand new, new clutch plate, RXT, twin disc clutch, <laughs> with a light and flywheel, aluminum flywheel, and uh, yeah, this is for the car. Um, it's gonna, it's gonna bite. The transmission's rated for 1,000 horsepower, 900 foot-pounds of torque, and this can handle every bit of that. Granted, my car's not there, but uh, with some luck, hopefully someday we are. But yeah, I'm very excited about this thing. Man, it is a, these, are, these things are so cool looking. They're so beautiful. I think they look, they look great. Man, I cannot wait to get this on the car. Can not wait. Oh yeah, we got our, got our tool to help install it. Oh, and the other big thing to notice is that my calmer, my calmer transmission, this thing is a 26 spline, whereas the boss is a 23. So this one's also 26, so we're good to go. 
So that's awesome. I'm glad, super, super glad that's here. Super glad. Here's the other thing we needed. If you look, if you look in here, we've got our, right here is the S550 flange. It's a tri-flange, or as S197 is a quad flange. So here's my S197 flange to install on the back of the MT82. We'll be doing a video on the install process, documenting how it's done. Uh, I gotta go rent some tools or buy them. Uh, it's pretty easy, you just need a tri-puller, a tri-puller and a good torque wrench. So I don't have a good torque wrench, I need to go buy one. I always love excuses to buy new tools, but I also only like buying tools that I'm gonna use several times, and so far I haven't had a huge need for a spec torque wrench. So I might just go to the local auto store and rent one. But we got everything we need now. We got everything we need now for that conversion. So we'll knock that out here shortly. And then the next big thing we're gonna order guys is my one piece drive shaft. I'm gonna order probably the Ford Racing one piece drive shaft. It's pretty economical pricing. Uh, the other option is the drive shaft shop. So if you have experience with either one of those, let me know down below. Tell me what you guys recommend. Uh, yeah, uh, just let me know how they how they feel. Uh, especially you boss guys, very interested on when you swap out the uh, drive shaft, what difference it made with throttle response. Um, I dude, I cannot wait, can't wait to get this on the car. Man, is it hot in here. But uh, yeah, all these goodies are coming. We got some big things coming for this. Um, I think what's going to happen is I'm going to utilize a local, a local do-it-yourself shop and get the car up on a lift and borrow their tools to do the whole thing. Uh, so what we're going to do is um, drive out there, get it on the lift, drop my current trans, remove the MT82, or sorry, remove the MGW, install it on the new trans, up, put it in, and uh, rock and roll, man. It's going to be awesome. But yeah, guys, I mean, that's all I got for you today. Uh, I just want to show off the goodies that came in the mail and uh, show, you know, we got some got some big things coming. For me, they're big things because so far, the biggest thing I've changed in this car has been the Parnelli Jones cold air intake. So this is a substantial upgrade for me, and I'm so excited. And I just hope one day that we can find a way to fund a power build on this thing. Uh, I mean, this is a car that definitely deserves to meet its potential. And I would love to throw a Pro Charger or a Paxton on. Um, just so far right now, my plan would be to maintain the this Boss Manny, Manifold on there because I just think it's you know an integral part of the car. But you know, I'd be honestly, I'm sorry, there's something flying in my hand. I'd be open to anything, but Paxton's the way I'd prefer to go, and we'll see what happens. Um, you never know. But appreciate everybody tuning in. If you haven't. And you enjoyed this video please click that like button if you didn't like this video click the dislike button if you want to see more content and you want to follow my build please click subscribe and i uh, can't wait to see you guys next time take care everybody man can't freaking believe this can't believe this how disrespectful does wildlife have to be to fly in front of your boss 302 son of a gun I swear to god man if my air condenser is gone again i'm gonna be so mad oh